so in this video you are going to learn how you can remove shortcut link virus from any storage device at all without the use of any software hello and welcome to my channel again i am damela riola Dele, and today i will be showing you an important procedure in recovering your files if you are a user of a windows computer you would agree with me that it's very easy to operate your computer but sometimes you face some issues as regards um, issues with viruses and you know one of the dangers of virus is that you will not be able to work at the pace you ought to work because you discover that some of your files on your computer system are actually affected all right what are viruses viruses are computer programs that comes to disrupt the activities on your computer system and they hinder you from doing certain works on your computer system so if you are like me and you have used your computer for some years you would agree with me that viruses are one of the worst things that can ever happen to your files they are enemies of your files on your computer system and they can actually disrupt your computer you know some viruses are dangerous that they even hinder you from being able to use your computer and today i actually have something to show you you know recently i was trying to install a software on another computer system and you know i thought that instead of me to connect to the internet and download the software i was going to use i have it on my local disk or my external local disk so i decided to transfer that so particular software to the other laptop using my local disk so immediately i put my hard disk into the set computer system i discovered something my local disk was partitioned into three parts and all the three parts were changed instantly onto a shortcut link you know all my files were gone you know i wanted to cry actually why because what i have on my local disk were gathered over the space of more than seven years and i began to think where will i get all these files that have accumulated over the years you know what i did i didn't get myself worried too much i entered into my research lab and i started digging the internet to find the solution onto my predicament the first thing i did was to get two repeatable antivirus softwares and you know i installed the first one which was a lightweight because i was looking for a very fast solution but after installing it and i tried to scan my computer and there was no time for me even to get familiar with the way that particular antivirus works so i gave up because i was looking for a quick fix so that i can do what i determined to do at that particular instance but you know what i discovered a method that i can use to remove those shortcut virus from my local disk without the use of any software and you don't even need to connect your system to the internet before it works you know that is amazing and i couldn't believe it myself that such an alternative exists so that is exactly what i want to show you today so in this video you are going to learn how you can remove shortcut link virus from your computer or from your hard disk or from your memory card or from your flash drive from any storage device at all without the use of any software be it paid software be it free open where software and or anything and you are not going to be making use of the internet so on my system here i'm going to show you that i'm not connected to the internet and i will show you a step-by-step -step approach that you can follow to get your shortcut link virus removed from your storage device so this is my internet um wireless uh, icon here so i'm going to put it here so that you can monitor it yourself all right and then the first thing you need to do is to um 
open my computer. This is my computer here. And um, well, this is the computer memory, right? The hard disk that I talked about the other time has three partitions. And this is the first partition. This is the second partition. And here is the third partition. And if you open this one here, you will discover that it's not affected. This was the one I recovered myself. And I intentionally left the other two for the sake of this tutorial. So if I try to um, hover on this one, you can see we have like 99.2 gigabytes space and the total size of this partition is 292 gig. It means that this particular partition has something on it, right? So I'm going to double click now to show you. If you see this, this is a shortcut and this is not how a proper folder should look okay you can see location cmd c slash windows slash system 32 if i try to open this now you can see that nothing is actually coming up for me right so what am i going to do i'm not going to cry over spilled milk again because i know what to do right now okay so the first thing for me now all right the next thing for me now is to determine the location of this drive that is affected. Okay, this is my reserved and the initial is drive E, right? So what I need you to do now is to click on the start button on your computer and run the command prompts, okay? But you are not just going to run the command prompt like a normal user. You are going to run command prompts as an administrator okay and the reason for that is that you will have access onto all the admin rights on this program okay so click us and so click on run as administrator all right and um yes you're gonna allow this to run and um after opening the command prompt okay I'm going to open a notepad document that I created purposely for the sake of this tutorial right now to show you the step-by-step -step approach. And besides, I put some code there. Don't worry, you don't need to be a developer before you can do it, right? Okay, so I have done this run command prompt as administrator and then determine the initial. In our case, you already know that the affected drive is drive E, so you're going to click on letter E and you're going to put the colon symbol and then click on enter, right? So after that, you are going to type the keyword ATTRIB, that is attribute, standing for attributes, right? Okay, so let's go ATTRIB and also click on enter. And now you can see that something is displaying on our screen. And we have a e slash my reserve dot l n k instead of us to know the particular attributes of our drive you can see the particular attributes that is being displayed on our screen right now so we have l n k this is the present state of our drive e so like i said you are not going to cry over spilled milk the next thing you are going to do is to carefully insert this um text one by one just follow me okay i'm i'm not going to copy it but i will leave this text for you under the description below right so i'm going to enter this test carefully so you start with a t c r i b you're going to paste this test there so let me do it carefully a t t r i b space When you are done inserting this code, you click on enter. All right. And if you study it, you discover that nothing is coming up now. But if you look at your hard disk, you will see that the light will be blinking if you are dealing with a hard disk like my own. So just wait for a while and see the magic that is going to happen. A few moments later. Now you can see what is being displayed on our computer. You can see access denied okay e slash system volume information all right since we have this result now don't get yourself worried 
our solution is on the way. What I need you to do now is to close the command prompt, right? Now, locate your computer again. This is our PC, okay? You can see this is our drive V as we located it the other time. Nothing has changed yet. We still have 99.2 gigabytes free space. We have total size of 292 gigabytes. So what I'm doing now is to double click. And when I double click, you can see that we have three additional new folders, right? This was the shortcut file. I show you the other time, but now we have three additional folders. What I'm going to do now is to open the first one, which has no name. And this is where our files are contained right now. Yes, it is not magic. That is actually how it works. You can see the content of my drive now. You can see where they are hiding now. All right. So here is the content of my drive. The one that was initially hidden by that shortcut virus. All right. So what I'm going to do now is to rename this my major file. Okay. I'm going to rename it. I'm going to put okay drive e drive e all right so rename it and for the other ones what you need to do is to select and um, delete right i'm going to delete them permanently yes or no yes or no yes or no going gone so i'm going to do this for all the current selected items but ensure that you are not selecting your major folder that contains your files. Okay. So click on continue and they are going to get deleted. And guys, without connecting to the internet, without using any external software, you have been able to salvage your memory card, your hard disk or your flash drive from shortcut virus. That is exactly how you can do it. Guys, this is not difficult at all. And um, I know you have learned something from this video. Kindly give me support on this channel. Subscribe to my channel. Go to the comment section and drop your comments. If this video help you, type it there. Let me know how this video help you. Also, I need you to kindly subscribe to this channel. Like I said, hit on the notification bell so that you get notified as soon as I post another valuable content, just like the one you just finished watching right now. I remain Damila Riolatele and I am committed to ensuring that you get better in your online business, okay? I'm a digital marketing strategist. Part of the things I do is social media marketing, social media management. I do website design. I do graphic design because I run an agency here in Nigeria that caters for all those needs and I can't wait to help you, right? So kindly remember to check back onto this channel and on this channel, I have other valuable videos just like the one that is being suggested on your screen right now. So do well to watch this video and let me know your comments. I will see you in another video. Bye.